So for our second uh, sample program in the arrays unit, we're going to look at a common error that uh, a lot of people make when they're declaring an array. According to the ISO C++ standard, you must use a constant when you're declaring an array, uh, whether it's a literal or um, a named constant for the size. You can't use a variable. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to do that anyways, uh, just to see what happens. So this sample program basically is the uh, same as example one, except rather than using a constant for the number of tasks and setting it to four, um, I'm going to use uh, a variable called number of tasks. And then of course, not set it to four, but rather uh, get that number from the user. So I prompt them how many tests were there or are there, and I'm using my get valid integer function from, from my header file to actually grab that number. Once I've established what that number is, um, I then declare uh, the array student test grades based on that variable. I've got in the comments here 75, but I don't know how many double variables would be created because this variable would be determined at runtime. So I'll change that to question marks there. Um, I go through an input loop, and of course the only difference in my input loop is the fact that I use the variable number of tests rather than the constant number of tests. And same deal with my output loop. So I've just replaced where I use the constant with this variable. So we'll go ahead and run that. What you'll notice, if I just move this slightly out of the way, is that I didn't get any errors and I didn't get any warnings at all. How many tests are there? I'll say that there are uh, three tests, and I'll arbitrarily put in some numbers. And it, everything seems to work okay. So it actually works using the compiler that I happen to be using, which is the GCC compiler. The problem is that this is not standard C++. So what could happen is if I am trying to compile this code and particularly this is what's going to give me trouble. Trying to compile this code on another compiler for another platform, for example, um, this may fail. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to at least get some warnings when my code doesn't conform to the ISO standard. Okay, so that's something I can set up here in Dev C++. So I go to the Tools menu. I choose Compiler Options. And here in my compiler options, I'm looking for the uh, settings tab. Um, and the sub tab that I'm looking for is warnings. Okay. Uh, about halfway down, I see there's a, an option here for check ISO C slash C plus plus C plus plus zero X conformance dash pedantic. That's the option I want to specify. Okay. So I'm going to change that to a yes. Uh, I'm going to try to change it to a yes. There we go. Uh, another option that I might be interested in, but is make all warnings into errors. This will actually stop me from compiling when uh, when I have an error, uh, such as it's not conforming to the standard. Um, I'm not going to be that harsh. I'm going to I'm going to be fine with just a warning. Okay, so I'll say okay to that. Now I'm going to compile the uh, program again. I'll just compile it this time rather than compile and run. And you can see I actually get a warning now. And if I double click on it, it brings me right to where the problem is. And it says ISO C++ forbids variable length array. Okay, so that's a, that's a problem. When we get to the second half of the unit, we're going to be solving this problem using pointers. But for now, I just want you to be aware that you must specify some sort of a constant, either a literal or a named constant, when you're declaring an array.